Hello everyone, what's up? This is Ant Canada bringing you another video. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by and for watching uh, our videos on YouTube. Of course, we are the innovators of Ant Keeping uh, Online. And uh, we'd like to thank all of you guys, our awesome subscribers, for making us the most popular Ant YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much, really, ever since starting this Ant channel. It's been a totally amazing ride and um, it's awesome to see the number of um, new, uh, you know, ant keepers that are wanting to get into ant keeping, you know, and that really was my dream with this entire channel and with opening the store. We always wanted to, um, you know, make the ant keeping hobby um, a lot more accessible and easier to understand uh, for those who uh, wanted to get into ant keeping, for those who were infected with ant love. Um, and speaking with ant love, we've got a new product uh, on our e shelves and we call it the Ant Canada Omni Nest. Uh, really, really excited about this, guys, because um, I've got to say this has to be our most. I would say practical and best suited design for ant keeping. Here's why. <laughs> First of all, you might look at it and be like, oh, it's made of plastic. Well, the entire unit is made of a high quality acrylic material. You see there, it's actually all bound together with screws. Um, so the first thing about these nests is it's completely disassemblable. You can break, take, take it apart and wash it um, over and over again. You know, if you, have a colony that dies out and, or you want to move a colony out and then move a new colony in, you can totally disassemble this very, very easily and wash the entire unit. The reason why we call this the Omni Nest is because uh, the ant keeper is essentially omniscient. You can see all action going on in the formicarium in the nest, um, as in no blocking at all, no hiding at all. Um, it's completely clear. Uh, and as well, the ant keeper is omnipotent. Each room, um, is com each chamber has its own roof, which you can completely remove. You thereby have access to every single room in the formicarium, which is totally, totally awesome. I'm going to do that for you right now. I'll show you. To get into the rooms, you can simply unscrew this screw here. Let's unscrew this here. See? Um, unscrewing this here. Two screws underneath, nuts I should say. All right, so with that, we pop off the guards here, these clear guards which secure the roofs in place. And then um, whichever room we wanna open, you see, you've got a roof there and I can have full access to the inside, to this entire chamber here. You see that, which is great, um, you know, our past, Formicaria, you simply couldn't do that. <laughs> um, but this you can see. So these roofs fit perfectly atop every chamber. Um, and this is the size large Omni Nest. Uh, it's got 17 chambers, sports 17 chambers, and two really large chambers over here. Um, another reason why we call this the Omni Nest is because the Ant Keeper is omnipotent. You have full control um, of the setup. For instance, you can completely remove this outworld section here um, and make it a separate unit by unscrewing this, these screws here quite easily. You just remove the little nuts there. So I've removed the four nuts that secure this outworld section to the nest. There we go. There, you see that? Now in its place, I simply place this plastic um, to act as a guard for these rooms here. Now with these screws that were inside the outworld, I simply place it on the guard of these upper chambers. And I can remove it if I need access to these upper chambers up here. The reason why the guard is there, guys, is because, you know, you want to make sure the roof is secure, especially if you have um, younger siblings or pets, you don't want them having access to your ants. <laughs> and if you're in the tropics like me, you don't want geckos and lizards getting into your ant colony or even other ants, right? Um, or other predators. Uh, so you've got it secured now and you have the entire unit as a separate unit 
the entire formicarium I should say, and uh, you would simply attach this unit by this cool device here. Look at this. You see this? This part comes off. It normally blocks an entrance into the formicarium. You simply turn this upside down and then in your kit comes a tube. So you receive something like this, a tube, which fits perfectly into this hole. You see that? So you just place that in there. And this hole, of course, fits perfectly into this hole uh, in the outworld. So you can have um, this arrangement if you wanted, um, where the outworld is separate and you have the formicarium as a separate unit. Um, it's really, really cool, so flexible. Um, and of course, with the, f the outworld, you have also a guard at the bottom to block this hole at here, which is where the um, ants entered the nest uh, from the bottom. Uh, and you have screws, of course, to hold that in place. Um, or you can create your own outworld up to you and attach it to there. Um, or you can attach this to another OmniNest. You know, the flexibility of these is uh, just spectacular. Now here's a closer look at the outworld section. The ants have access to the outworld um, through this entrance into the nest. Of course, this sits right here. Um, onto the nest and if you wanted to have the outworld separate as a separate unit um, You simply place a plastic piece that comes with your kit and block that hole there you see um, And then you place this guard on top Like so the outworld of course has a secure cover um, Like that this is our outworld you see and there's a screen mesh here, which of course you can remove if you like. And to do that, of course, you've got to just unscrew this layer of screws. See that? And then you can remove the um, mesh. And if you just want an open top, you could totally do that um, as well. Again, flexibility, full control. And that's essentially what good ant keeping is about. You know, having good control of the environment and home that you keep your colony in to best suit your needs and to best suit the needs of your ants. And I know what you're asking now, with an entire acrylic nest, how does hydration work? The way it works is, you see these two chambers on the side? You simply move these guards like so. You pop open this chamber here. There is a sponge which kind of grows once it's hydrated, when it's wet. You just pour water here and what it does is it holds moisture and there's a screen so that ants can't come in. Um, you can also, if you desire, um, fortify these spaces with cotton, which I've also done. It works just as well. If you look carefully at the composition of this nest, you can see that it's made of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, six or seven layers of um, acrylic and in between those layers capillary action causes the water to move from this sponge throughout the nest and it's really really cool because when you hydrate the nest you can actually see water spread to the rest of the nest um, which is great and if you have ants that like really moist nests like Myrmica, Rubra um, of course you can just add water here and continually keep the entire nest hydrated or if you like, if your ants like a dry nest like Camponotus, um, you can control that uh, hydration really just by limiting the water. Um, and if you want, you can even create a gradient, a water moisture gradient by watering one side and not watering the other. You know, that flexibility is there. Again, the ant keeper with an omni nest is omnipotent. You have full control, uh, which I think is, is great and very, very practical um, in terms of um, creating the best and most ideal environment for your pet and colonies. Another great feature uh, of this nest is that because you have full access to every room, you can even rear your queens in these setups. Um, and to do that, you simply plug every room adjacent to the room that you choose your queen to be in. Um, you, you plug that and fill it with cotton. Um, and we've done this. We've raised uh, young colonies using just the nest. Um, and the chamber should be near one of the side hydration chambers. 
and uh, you raise the ants that way. And as the colony grows larger, you can remove the cotton that is uh, blocking access to the rest of the nest. Now, let's say you've got a colony in a test tube. All you do is you simply place the test tube into the outworld and then you cover the formicarium, uh, make it dark and moist, and the ants will just move in eventually. It can happen immediately or it can take a few days to a few weeks. You just gotta be patient, right? Or you can simply move the colony in through the tubing. See that? By placing this tubing in here and attaching this tube to your uh, test tube and then moving them out either using light or heat or whatever you choose. Um, and of course, we've got tutorials on that, so look that up. So um, this essentially is our new OmniNest, and we're really, really excited to launch it, guys. Um, it really is the culmination of many, many years of ant keeping, and uh, we feel it's perhaps the most practical um, ant formicarium we've ever made available. And the best part about this is it's also the cheapest, um, one of the cheapest formicariums we have ever sold. So be sure to visit antscanada.com to check out this new product uh, on our shelves, the Ants Canada Omni Nest. This is size large. We also have a size small. And uh, we look forward to uh, having your ants discover how awesome these homes are for them. And uh, expect a video soon of some of our ants in these Ants Canada Omni Nests. This is Ants Canada signing out. Ant love forever, guys. Bye.